The general playstyle of a clan is to farm, kill, raid, repeat. Well, boys and girls, I decided to change the game. Introducing the first code reading clan in Rust. These boys are determined, they are primlocked, and most of all, they have no social lives. They make me the happiest person on earth. <laughs> so, get ready for the most efficient code reading of your goddamn lives. In total, there's six of us. The amount of combinations possible on a code lock is 10,000. So, you may assume every code entered is equivalent to a 0.01% chance because 1 divided by 10,000 is 0.01, blah blah blah. However, that's not the case. Thanks to the code rating gods S key and Young S key, I was provided a list of codes that are numbered from most common to uncommon. So, the plan seems pretty clear to me. Divide the codes among the clan members, then I'd assign them each 1,000 codes. That that way we could get the codes done quickly and efficiently. The next step was to choose a server. I wasn't just going to choose any NA servers, no. For the code rate to work, they had to be offline. So I opted for an EU server. Because when our red-blooded Americans would be hard at work, the people with the wrong metric system would be fast asleep. As soon as I loaded in, the number one priority was cloth. Oh, it's Peter. Hey, Peter. Uh, we are G23 top right. I'm good, sir. Okay, so the insane thing about code rating is that it literally requires nothing. Except time and cloth, but I have plenty of both. I'm crafting all of the cloth in the bags. I I'm pretty sure I could give somebody like six bags, because I, I have 15. I don't Can you give one. me six bags, Confusion? I think I can, Peter. Help. What the fuck? Oh yeah, there's <laughs> more. <laughs> just crouch, just crouch, 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 crouch. <laughs> See you later, stinky. Uh... After recycling at outpost, we set out to find a good base to raid. And I'm gonna shot it by Tommy. Ooh, how about that compound? Well, let's do uh, 80. Mathematically, this shouldn't take too long. I'm looking for a decent sized base that's compounded with no turrets. After a little bit of scavenging and searching, I found a good base to code rate. It was a 2x2 two two honeycomb, and it looked like a good base to start at. Yeah, I have an AK. Just stash like it on your bag. <laughs> I already placed all my bags. We're full sending it now. I'm not sure if this is a test run or whatever, but we'll see. All right, all right I'm gonna start. After 10 minutes of code rating, we had missed one minute detail. Might be rated already, guys. Kind of so? looks like it. I just realized that there's a door right here. Well, it's too late now. We already placed all our bags. Oh, God. Oh, shit. There's a door right there. Yeah, this is rated. Just a minor setback for the code rating, boys. It would take a lot more than that to get us down. Oh, what about that base? Just north of the rated 2x2, two two, there was a compound. But this compound didn't have any turrets, so it made it the perfect base to code raid. And also, they weren't online, which made it even better. I got my bags down, and it was time to code raid. All right, you guys ready? What number, co what number of codes are you guys on? I'm at 45. Wait, wait, nobody go on the code lock. Little one shot. Yeah. Well, boys, we had another issue on our hands. When you enter a lot of codes in a row, the lock builds up damage and one shots you. However, it's an easy fix. You just have to wait 10 seconds. But you know me, I'm an impatient man. So I came up with a quick solution. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa, stop, stop hitting each other. There's another gate on the other side of the compound. So why don't two of you guys go enter codes over there? Hopefully the other gate is the same code as this one. <laughs> with this newfound strategy, we were able to doink out hella codes in a very timely manner. There is literally nothing stopping this clan of code raiding monsters. Shut up, There's an AK. An AK kid killing me. Yo, they're raiding this base. Like, as oh we're my sitting gosh. here doing this. Oh my gosh. We're sitting here fucking <laughs> code raiding and they're fucking Wait, raiding what? the base. One little detail I forgot about is that people in Rust like to offline raid. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Bro, they're raiding it. No way. Hey, no. Wait, Peter, 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 do you still have that AK? Why not? <laughs> There's like 10 of them. This is our raid, you bozos. I cannot believe this is happening right now. Alright, guys, looks like we're gonna have to pack up and go somewhere else Yo. again. There's one, two, three, there's four of them, five of them. Oh my gosh. Oh, wait, hold up. Okay. You guys want to code raid or whatever the raiders get? <laughs> Should we code raid the, code raid the raiders? <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> this isn't okay. Why did this happen? I don't know. This is body what is what is the chances that that actually happens? Are you are you guys running naked in? Yeah, we're just running. <laughs> you guys ready? We're gonna count it as baiting you, Peter. Right. Oh, if you kill all these kids, kill one, kill two. What? Go, 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 go. Where, 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 where? Give me, do you have one extra? 20, 20. Where? I'm trying to get past so he doesn't kill me. I shot him. I'm running. Oh, guys, guys. Oh, guys. Here, guys. Take, 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 take. AK on ground, AK on ground right here. Why do you stop? I have a run back, run back, run back. Killed him, killed nice, him. Nice, nice, nice. I'm respawning, I'm respawning. <laughs> oh, back right here. What the fuck oh, is that? He killed me. No, he killed me too. Oh my god. No way that just fucking happened. Oh That's my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so after that encounter we decided to hop on rusty moose monthly i wasn't recording for the very beginning so here's a skit of what happened whoa i, I just spawned dude i just spawned please so friendly I'm friendly come on man all right all right come on oh yo yo by the way uh i i'm actually part of a code raiding clan uh do you do you maybe have any bases that i could raid on the server like anyone that you would want to go to d24 d24 D24? Okay. Uh, is there like anything there or? Not nah, just just go there. Go D24. That's all I got for you. All right. Oh, uh, what's your name, dude? Dusty Balls. D Dusty what? I just that? had a I nice bet. interaction with some random horse guy. He wants you to code raid his base. He wants he wants me to code raid D24. I wonder if there's some beef between that guy and D24. I just found the hazmat guy that you talked to confusion. Yeah, he's friendly. Say you're part of the code code raiding team. Yeah, I just said that. He gave me a uh, like 3k stone. So with our friend Dusty Bull's recommendation, I decided we would code raid the base D24. However, I was still curious about the story behind his anger towards that base. When I arrived, there was a random naked outside. I wasn't sure if he was Dusty's friend or whoever. All I know is that he appeared out of nowhere. Is this the guy that you're- What's good, homie? Hello. All right, let me ask you this. Are you are you a trustworthy person? You yeah, said, bro. Have you heard of code raiding? You want to join the cause? Let's do it. Just like that, I added yet another member to the code raiding team. All right, who needs, who needs bags? I have a bunch of bags. After getting all my bags down yet again, I decided to change the code raiding strategy. Strategy. This change would make it much, much more efficient because I would sign each member 250 codes instead of 1000, and it would make it so that we could do the most common codes a lot more quicker. I never thought I'd be up at half one in the morning with a bunch of Americans spending over a fucking three hours trying to open a door. After a thousand codes were entered collectively, our supplier for the base came to check in on us. And well, I was curious if he wanted to join. Would you like to join the cause? And well, he said yes. With that, Dusty Balls joined the code rating clan. All right, I'm adding this guy in Discord. <laughs> Wait, it's code. What am I? Hey, hey, After a solid hour of code reading and no success, I decided we needed one more member. So I added my good friend Porgy to aid us in this dire situation. Porgy! How far along on the process are we? Uh, we're about to be 20%. Uh, uh, your name is your name is we stay Damn! What have you guys done? Baby. Two codes and it killed me. Oh yeah, no. We have to we, we warn each other like you have to wait ten seconds before it resets. Got a really hot code lock here, boys. Got a hot code lock over here, gentlemen. Yeah, there's multiple doors, so you can just enter it on other doors. You may not know it, but at this time we've been code raiding for four hours straight. No breaks, no nothing. The code raiding team's mental was starting to wane. My soldiers started questioning my authority, and well, I tried my best to keep them in line. <laughs> Alright, stop, 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 stop the violence, stop the violence, it's not funny. Alright, stop, we're gonna... Pick me up. <laughs> he hit stop. me first. Hey, hey. I'm, I'm putting the paddle away, hey. I'm putting the paddle hey. away. Hey, hey, calm down, alright? No more, no more violence, alright? I'm, I'm on a 7 I haven't ate at all. This. I still need to eat. I'm, I'm starving. 
No, nah, we need to get. We need to do more codes. Well, wouldn't it be better if we're all, you know, not hungry when we get the code? You know what? I'm the leader. And by God, you're gonna enter codes. <laughs> can we just overthrow? <laughs> no, no. Yeah, we can just no. overthrow. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, you're gonna eat when I tell you to eat, and you're gonna code raid when I tell you to code raid. Okay? Despite my best efforts to keep my soldiers' mentals intact, it was not being effective. So I had to bring my friend Fancy Orb in for a pep talk. All right, listen up, boys. All right, listen up. Okay. From now on, in this call, you're going to call me Coach Fancy, all right? Because I'm your coach for this evening. Do you guys understand? Say yes, Coach yes, Fancy. Coach yes, Fancy. Yes, Coach Fancy. Yes, Fancy. Yes, Fancy. I'm shit. <laughs> all right, listen up, boys. I heard this night is going unsuccessful, all right? How many how many bases have we gotten into with code rating? No. Zero. Zero. And why is that, boys? Why is that? <laughs> we got that <laughs> weird code. All right, everybody shut up. Listen to Coach Fancies because you guys are not putting in your work. All right, there's eight of you in this call. You guys should have gone through three bases right now with code rating, all right? This is absolutely ridiculous. So this is what we're going to do. You guys are going to stop slacking, okay? I know some of you guys are jerking off at base. Some of you guys are going out and PvPing and not making any plays because you're dying. All right, no more of that, it. okay? All of you guys can separate. There's only 10,000 codes, and there's eight of you, okay. okay? There's seven to eight of you. If you guys evenly split up the codes, you guys can easily get this done, all right? 1,000 to 2,000. Peter, that's going to be you, okay? okay? We already have that. We already, wait, have, we already have that done. All right. Wait, are you guys on a one base right now or what's up? We're all working on one base. You guys are on this, the same base. All right, right, boys. All Thank right. you for that pep talk, Listen coach. to Coach oh, Fancy. Better. You guys need to type in these codes, and I, I better see some pictures of you guys getting a code rate. Right? Yes, sir. With Coach Fancy or his blessing, we kept on soldiering on, hoping to get into this base. Dude, we're getting close. I can feel it. Can anybody else feel it? You said this, you said this like, Yeah, you long. said this about three hours ago. You, <laughs> you said this every time. All right, guys. I know the what? codes. The <laughs> sound is getting to us. However, Coach Fancy Orb's speech didn't last too long. My soldiers' brains were starting to turn off and grow tired. This was the one thing I feared when code raiding. We're so close. I can taste it. I don't think we I are. Can taste. That's just your sweat confusion. We're not going to be close if you keep t talking like that. Wait, what just? Don't what just happened? What just? Wait, what? What just happened? Did the server crash? The first, the first code rating yeah. clan I think is going as a success, guys. Yeah. I don't think it is, man. Yeah, this is right. I really don't I think it is. So when the server came back on, some of us had hopped off, and well, I was soon to follow. It seemed like my grand plan to code raid was going to be a bust. There's one chasing mm -hmm. me right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. George, you at the base? They don't die at daytime. George, look, George, look at me. I got it! I got it! I got it! Whoa! Whoa! whoa. Yes! You did, you did. Yes! Yes! He did, he did, he did. Yes! What was it? What was it? Fuck yes! Wait, 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 wait. Let's <laughs> fucking go, you. baby! It was total hysteria when it came to unlocking that front door. The code was 3552, number 4704 on the list. The loot was actually decent. However, that's not the reason why we raided, my dear viewer. Remember how Dusty Balls told us to raid D24? Well, he told me the reason why he wanted us to raid this base. It was actually because D24 had offlined them previously in the wipe. These boys were also dirty roof campers. So overall, we code raided a base, got a revenge story, and wasted an entire day. I'll never get back. Totally worth it in my opinion.